My Flavors Europe. Uh, what is My Flavors Europe? It is a, a campaign to bring Malaysian flavors closer to Europe by combining Malaysian ingredients and tropical fruits with uh, familiar European ingredients and cooking styles to produce new taste sensations. So guys, I'm Jackie M. I'm the founder of Masters of Malaysian Cuisine. And this week we are partnering with the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Industries of Malaysia. Uh, and we're going to transport ourselves virtually into kitchens all over Europe through our MOMC and MOMC at Heart Chefs. So to kick things off on day one, we are actually going to be going to Germany. So let me introduce Rosita Heilig and Lisa Yeo. And just let me add them to this uh, screen here. Hi guys, how you doing? Hi, good, hello. <laughs> okay, great, great. We're very, very excited to have you guys uh, first ones out of the gate. Just uh, quickly tell us where in Germany are you guys based? And what will you be cooking for us today? Okay, we are in uh, Frankfurt, Germany, which is the international center of uh, Germany, we like to say. Yes. And we are going to cook uh, the sweet and sour forellen or trout uh, with um, boiled potatoes. Yeah, or we call it here Salzkartoffel. Yeah. And also for dessert, we're going to really uh, pump things up with uh, durian crepes. So, Something to look forward to. It's something very interesting, actually, even for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, durian is very, uh, yeah, I, I love durian. So we will have to find out if your guest actually loves durian as well. Guys, uh, part of the um, of these sessions will involve food tasting by locals in the cooking sessions. OK, so we're going to stick around to find out what the outcome of Lisa and Rosita's dish are going to be. Now, uh, before we go any further, I have got uh, the honor to play a welcome message by the Consul General of Malaysia based in Frankfurt. So let me just quickly remove uh, Lisa and Rosita, and I'm going to add uh, the uh, footage for us. Okay, quickly. We'll be back in two minutes. That Malaysian foods have their own unique flavor profiles and the ingredients that can be utilized to prepare a variety of delicious Hi everyone, this is Farzami Sakawi. I'm the Consul General of Malaysia in Frankfurt. Today, I'm delighted to say a few words to viewers watching this video on Malaysia's flavor in Europe, brought to you especially by the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Industries, or MAFI, Masters of Malaysian Cuisine, MOMC, as well as Tourism Malaysia and MATRE. Today, we will embark on a special culinary journey with a chef who will be cooking delicious Malaysian dishes with a blend of Malaysian ingredients and varieties of Malaysian tropical fruits. For those of you who have not been to Malaysia or tested any Malaysian cuisine, I can assure you that Malaysian foods have their own unique flavor profiles and the ingredients that can be utilized to prepare a variety of delicious meals. Malaysian famous dishes and delicacies are nasi lemak, laksa sawa, asam pedas, mie goreng, rendang, and many more. By the way, I'm currently at the Tourism Malaysia office in Frankfurt. I believe through initiatives such as Malaysian Flavors in Europe, our viewers will learn much more about the authentic Malaysian made ingredients and our tropical fruits. I invite you to discover these dishes which are so tasty and versatile that you'll find yourself using many of these ingredients. I take this opportunity to also wish all Malaysians a happy National Day. As we celebrate our 64th National Day on 31st of August, we remember what a very special day it is for us Malaysians. It is the day we celebrate our independence that we achieved peacefully. Our guest chef today will display the fruits of Malaysia, which carry the aromas and flavors of the lands of Southeast Asia. Back to Miss Jackie to proceed with the show and our guest chef. Thank you. Okay, well, that was a really encouraging words, courtesy of the Consul General of Frankfurt. Let me just bring 
uh, Lisa and Rosita back on screen. Hi guys, before we go on any further, you guys are amazing cooks. I've seen you cooks uh, do your thing in the kitchen for a long time now, but you guys are hobby cooks, right? Is that how you would describe yourselves? Correct, correct. Yeah. Okay. Great, great, great. Now, uh, what the audience may not realize is that these sessions are actually mentored by our elite group of MOMC chefs, including uh, for your session, Renee Johari, Renee Jufri, who is listed among one of the top 50 most influential executive chefs working in the Middle East today. And he has a message for you guys. So let me just uh, play that and we'll come back here after that, okay? and our personal favorite my, my flavors europe with rosita and lisa so i can see you share a very nice recipe to all the audience today uh, with the trout and sweet sour sauce a locally sourced available fish that is commonly found in europe and our personal favorite flavor of the sweet and sour sauce to top it up that you add the pineapple our favorite tropical fruit to the dish and also lisa and rosita on the take of the dessert they use a durian so durian is also another malaysian tropical favorite fruit that we are very proud of especially that you made and you shared the recipe with us today with the crab so to all audience enjoy the recipe and enjoy cooking okay Great. Well, thanks very much for that, Renee. Let's bring the ladies back on over here. And they are actually, you guys, where are you guys at the moment, by the way? We are at the residence of the Consul General of Frankfurt. He's such a great support. We're very, very proud to have him support. Oh, fantastic. Him. Yes, we are Absolutely. very lucky to have yes. someone supporting us. Yeah. Also, before we go on further, we would like to thank Mafi for giving us the chance to actually uh, show uh, showcase Malaysian ingredients here into, you know, with a twist of European inside there. Tourism Malaysia, oh, Ma definitely. yeah, definitely, Matre and Pharma. Thank you so much Thank for you. supporting us and our initiative yes. at the same time. Yeah. yeah, these are funny times, isn't it? Because it, uh, trying to, I guess, bring brand awareness into the market during this pandemic means yeah. that you have to do a lot of things virtually, but also yeah. even with your cooking demos, you guys are fully vaccinated, so we don't have to worry about, uh, yes. you know. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Now, we're all fully vaccinated. We make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, what uh, uh, what the reasons are that you picked a forel or trout and also the sweet and sour sauce and the durian for your session. Are there any particular reasons why you picked these? Yes, you know, um, forel and uh, trout is a very famous fish. Very known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, you go every restaurant, you always you always can get forel. In, yeah, it is a typical German fish and it's bred here. Probably, I hope that there is a footage that we did where we literally went to this place. To the farm. In, it is so beautiful. It is in the middle of a forest, different, different ponds, yeah, with water running through. So you don't get that muddy taste from the forel, yeah, even though it's not seawater fish. And uh, that's the reason why we chose it. And we decided, like, what do we do with this fish, yeah? So we also spoke to Renee our mentor chef and um, came out with a couple of ideas and we were saying like hey what say you if we maybe we do it with uh sweet and sour sauce yeah because that is a very famous dish that a lot of europeans are very familiar they with, know what sweet but sour they have is. never done it with uh for trout yeah yeah they always either how would they do that here just bake it anyways and then we decided uh for that and the durian was a uh, okay. idea super idea Okay. okay, I personally love durian. I don't know uh, uh, if there's a lot of people out there who love it. It's a hate love relationship, but it's the most wonderful fruit. And I would really like all my friends, at least here in Germany yes. and everywhere around yeah. Europe, to try it and taste it. It's wonderful. So what we show you today is going to be the milder version, but a, a start. In yes. the introduction of durian. Wonderful, the king of fruits. Yeah, it's a slow step into 
loving durian. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. yeah, that fits perfectly into the theme of the series. My Flavors Europe isn't necessarily to teach you of, like traditional Malaysian dishes per se, but it's really just to kind of like add a little touch of Malaysia yeah. to yes. your, you know, your European cooking, right? Okay, oh, fantastic. Okay, now what are three highlights that people can look forward to? Uh, you mentioned the, uh, the, the, the trout farm uh, and also using that uh, sweet and sour sauce. And, uh, but you do have someone who's going to be tasting the food, okay? So we can look forward to that. Is there anything else that you want to tell the audience to keep an eye out for before we start rolling the tape? Oh, actually, you know what we did, the, what we cooked, you can find the ingredients here. Well, we're in Frankfurt, so look out for the Malaysian ingredients in Go Asia, for example. Yes, correct. Uh, really, it's easy, it's yeah. very tasteful. Um, and also the tropical fruits, you can find them here. And, and there was a there, look out for also the display of uh, the different foods uh, that you can get, Malaysian ingredients that you can get, that we actually have it at, at the back of us. Yeah, So just pay attention to that. You can definitely get that in Frankfurt or in any part of Germany. And anyone can yes. follow the recipe. It's so easy and very tasty. So try it out. It's yummy. Oh, fabulous. fabulous. Speaking of the recipes, guys, don't forget, if you haven't already, go sign up at malaysianchefs.com slash mafi, M-A-F-I, and we will not only send you a an e-cookbook right away, but we will send you all the recipes from this series after the fact, okay? So make sure you sign up, malaysianchefs.com slash mafi, and also uh, let's roll the tape and we'll come back afterwards. Guys, if you've got any questions for these uh, two talented ladies, make sure you post them in the comments. Uh, because we're playing a pre-recorded reel, we won't be able to answer the questions on screen, but we want to do that uh, at the end of it, all right? So make sure you stick, stick around, find out what their guest Frank thinks of the dishes, and also, uh, you know, wait around for the ladies to answer the questions at the end of the session, okay? So let's do it, guys. Let me just uh, remove you guys from the screen, and let's play the tape, okay? Ellen Good. That's Burger, it's the name of the owner, so. Uh-huh. Come on, let's walk. Oh, look at the forest. This is, this must be their house, yeah? No. No? It's the work. Oh. The fish for cow is here, here. Did I show? Fish, fish for cow. It means fish where you sell the fish. Yeah. It's so pretty, isn't it? I forgot how beautiful it was, or it is. Oh, I am in. Okay, Skala, I river scan you. Oh, oh, it's that here that where, where they where they where the, the fish is all here. All the different ponds have uh -huh. different look that guys in there because they will they they will pull the fish uh -huh. of different ages and so different ponds, different states. Oh. So they start with the eggs and then it moves down to the other pond uh -huh. and the water is continuously moving. So that's why the, fa the taste so of the fish is not so muddy, yeah? No trap stone taken. Yeah, one. yeah. This church is, uh, you cannot go in. Yeah, this way. Yeah. So... That's where you buy the fish. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Ja. Wie viel bitte? Uh, vier. Vier Stück bitte. Vier. Ja. Danke. So we got the forellen. Okay. <laughs> Look, we have to show you how beautiful the place is. <laughs> Look at the house there. And they eat it, the mother, the father, grandfather. <laughs> this one is really big, yeah? I think maybe that is the grandmother. Eh? 
<laughs> I don't know. Okay. Bye, Doc. Bye. Hi, I'm Rosita Heilek. And I'm Lisa Yo. And we're both sending greetings from Frankfurt, Germany. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Yeah. So today we are really excited because we are part of the Mafi campaign in Europe to promote Malaysian products in the food that we can make here in Europe, in Germany per se. What is Mafi? Uh, Mafi is the Malaysian agriculture and food industries. So the goal is actually really, as Lisa had said, is to promote Malaysian products, uh, items and beverages here in Germany. Yeah. Um, most of the items anyway that you see back here. Here, here. Yeah, yeah. you can find them in uh, around, well, at least in Frankfurt that I know, or wherever you find Go Asia, you can get most of the products over there. Yeah, and Go Asia is everywhere in Germany, not just in Frankfurt. Yeah, so you, you have an, in major cities in Germany, you get Go Asia. Yeah. So anyway, let us talk about that for a while. Yeah. Um, if you're interested to find out, if you're interested to find out more about the various type of Malaysian food yeah. and beverages, like, you know, sometimes you ask me, where can I get this and that? Yeah. So, um, yeah, you can uh, visit the Mihas exhibition virtually at www.mihas.com.my. So, please do go and visit that website to find more about Malaysian products in Germany. And we're going to start cooking. Okay, let's go. Yeah. So what are we doing today? Today we were at Forel and Good today. We were at Forel and Good, which is the farm for where they rear fresh trout. Correct. And the trout you get there is completely amazing. It's one of the main fish that is served in Germany. Yeah, uh, the Germans love their trout or forel and we call it. Yeah. And yes. this is really fresh. You cannot get it any fresher than Yes, what it was a lie straight out of the pond. <laughs> yes, canal. Onto the plate here. Yes. So so, so we're doing a uh, trout muller in art, which yeah. is fried yes. trout. That's yes. what we're gonna do. And then to make it uh, to touch a uh, Asian touch or Malaysian touch to it, what are we adding? Um, I will be making the sweet and sour sauce. So this we're using this product. This is from Sudi, which you can find at Go Asia. So we're going to add uh, some very nice colorful vegetables and pineapples and all that. So okay, let's get ahead. started. Yep. You know, you should see how beautiful it's like in Germany when it's summer. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to coat the fish, this fish here, in um, a batter of uh, just just plain flour and salt and pepper. That's all we season it. So, but you need to wipe it dry a little bit. Yeah, alamadi. This one I already wiped, yeah, so it's actually quite dry. So uh, be generous with your flour and yeah, just uh, coat it because we, after this, we are going to fry it. You see here, we have also bees saying hello to our <laughs> fish <laughs> because it's just simply summer and summer here is uh, full of bees out there. Okay, so... First, we have to coat the fish with uh, uh, flour that is seasoned with salt and pepper, right? So coat it and then tap it a little bit. The oil, you need a lot of oil for deep frying. Yeah? Yes. So Because if you want to make it crispy, you have to make sure the oil is very hot and then you put the item in. Yeah. Uh, so that you get the crisp in the end. I know some people say, oh, I don't like too much oil, but deep frying needs a lot of oil. Yes. If you use too little oil, the product will not be cooked or it won't be crispy and it absorbs all the oil. And somehow the taste is just different. It's just not there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I think if you want to deep fry, you must really deep fry. Okay, so the oil is hot enough. Yeah. I'm going to fry one first. Hopefully this is a rather big fish. Let's fry this. Oh, that really looks good. It was really wow. nice, right? This for well and good we went there today. Okay, so now this is being fried at high heat. So, it is really fresh. Good. Yeah. Look at that. And of course, we prefer to do the whole fish as we <laughs> Malaysian or Asians like because we love the 
tail and the head. Yes. However, if you would like to use uh, fish fillet, that's also okay. Normally in Germany, they use a lot of fish yeah, fillet. Yeah, uh, Germans prefer to not fight with the bones, but you know, it's it's all good. Yeah. Fish is fish. Let me just turn this fish. I think it's really good then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You now. Can edit that, no? Okay. This is the fish frying from this. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Boleh makan more. Boleh makan more. So we are going to turn the fish now. This is very rough money, really. Good luck. Wow. Fabulous. Wow. Okay. Okay. So Rosie, the fish is ready, yeah? Yes, it's looking really good. Okay, let's bring it out. Drain it. Drain the fish. Yes. Look at that. Yep. It's Wonderful. good. Yeah. Okay, now I, uh, we are ready to do the sweet and sour sauce. I'm sure everybody knows sweet sour, so yeah. but we're doing this with a twist and real fresh pineapple so oh, yummy this is really good yeah, yeah. okay and so okay so first we start with uh, sliced onions into the frying pan which has a little bit of oil yeah. okay and then inside you can mix a little bit of water with the ready paste this is the sudi ready paste so easy yeah. yeah add some water for me okay and uh, that gives this taste is the one that gives us the um taste of sweet and sour. So, but the uh, sweet and sour is very bekant or uh, very known among the Germans. Yes, the European, and I think that's why. I love sweet and sour. Yeah, everything sweet and sour. So now I'm adding some ginger. So we are ready with the paste. Now we're just going yeah. to add the paste is in this consistency, so just add mm -hmm. about uh, four teaspoons and a bit more if you like, like what I'm doing is it, is now. It, it's, not, it's not spicy, right? It's not spicy. It has a wonderful sweet, sour and umami taste to it. It's, oh yeah, it's, it's like delicious. it's done. It's like it's ready. So, but mm. what we're going to do too is yep. we're going to... Anyway, I'm just going to add some more, you know, just to make some color. Mm -hmm. Some of the colored capsicums. Red, yellow, and green always give a beautiful color. And we should add also the... The your so, uh, sweet your chili sauce. Sweet chili sauce. Yeah. This also you can get at the uh, Go, Go Asia. Asia. Yeah. So, just to give it a little bit of um. Yes, I, I think without Spicy. this, it doesn't work so, much, so well. It does. Just you, you just need it to be a little yeah. bit... Um, how do you say it? A little bit sweet and spicy. So yeah. that's what we get from this. Hence the name sweet and sour. Yes, there so you go. So where is the sour now? Okay. And as you know, we doctor a little bit. A little bit of sugar. Uh -huh. Just for added sweetness. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Not much. There you go. And, and? and a little teeny weeny bit of vinegar. Mmm, I like it because this gives it a lot of the yes. soury flavor before you put in the exactly. ananas. Exactly. You just mix so, this right here. Yes. Um, ah. So you see the colors there? It is beautiful, isn't it? Very nice. Yeah. And you know, I'm just going to add a little bit of water so that we have a bit more sauce. Mm -hmm. And the seasoning from Sudi actually thickens your sauce as well. So, oh. yeah, it does. So it's an all-in-one, easy so you to don't use. Normally, when people uh, make sweet and sour, they they tend to put like cornstarch corn at the end of it just to thicken the sauce. No I need. didn't know the Sudi one can do that. So everyone, go to Go Asia, buy it. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and I've used it many times. Oh. So I'm using fresh pineapple today. So oh, I love pineapple. Add a few. Especially those coming from okay. Sarawak. Oh, oh, to me that one is like the best like pineapple honey. in the world. The honey, can you? Yes, yes. So yes. sweet. Yeah. So, and you see how quick this is. Yeah. Would you like to have a taste and see if we need anything else in there? Yep. Let me try that now. It does thicken. Yeah. I'm the impressed. consistency is really good. Is it perfect or perfect? It's perfect. <laughs> oh my God. It's really good. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I'm not there saying it just because we're doing this. Hey. Hey, you know how fussy I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. All right. Alles fertig. Done. Zwei Minuten. Alles. Alles perfect. Yeah, genau. So. Und dann, was again, essen wir mit? Like I said, this is the best. Yep. I'm going to go out and buy it. That's for okay. sure. Okay. <laughs> so. Fertig. Okay, alles hier. Okay, sauce is done. Now we're putting it over the fish mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna put it right there in the middle so Ooh, you can see how trans the fish and uh, wait we have to, to germanize it so how are we going to germanize okay. it now? usually we eat uh, here in Germany we eat the Forellen uh, Müllerin with uh, boiled potatoes yes. so we do have this boiled potatoes here yeah so let's put that on the side Yes, and uh, you you just boil the potatoes just boil with it salt. salt. Yeah, that's and salt. that's done. Yeah. So and it really is, and we just put some tomatoes on the side. Gives it the fresh Shall taste. Shall I put some leaves here? I have some uh, oh, mayo rum. I have uh, what would you like? I have chives. Oh, let's do some chives for the uh, potatoes. Okay. Give it a nice color, and there you go. There we go, chives for the potatoes. Wonderful. This is fantastic. He has all the... <laughs> there you go. Yep. And ah, I cannot wait to try this. And we're done. Ta-da! <laughs> we're done. I'm going to... Here. Okay, you can start yours. Okay, hi. Now it's time for us to make the dessert. Correct. And uh, the dessert is... It's called crepe with durian. Crepe, which is pancake in yes. Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody knows how to make uh, pancake. Uh, crepes, very, very thin pancakes. Yeah. Uh, but this one, we do it a little bit of a difference. Yes. And the filling is going to be cream and durian. Yes. Yeah, so, so it's a bit like more, instead of using coconut, you would change I it. I just use milk. It's like how we make normal pancake here in Germany. Okay, so it's... Uh, yes. A bit of uh, the Malaysian fruit in there going in yes, your dessert. Yes. I'm excited about this durian thing. Okay. So you will. Okay, so let's do the mixture first yeah. for the pancake. Uh -huh. We've added a couple of different ingredients in here because we need the pancake to be, you know, a little bit stretchable so that we can fold it like a yeah. pillow. So those who've been to Malaysia and Singapore, you all will know what I mean by durian crepes okay, okay let's so begin okay so we start with this is um eight tablespoon of all-purpose flour okay okay and here is uh four tablespoon of tapioca flour that we need to mix all together and see if it's yes. true, yeah okay let's put it in and ah. you can find tapioca flour in any asian supermarket yeah so and this is custard powder custard powder if you have Two it tablespoon if you don't have it if how you is don't it? have it it's fine you can skip that right yes and also you can find custard custard powder in any asian stores yeah yeah so okay so all of this goes in together okay so let me so the next thing this. we need is uh -huh. okay uh yes. so we add in some sugar oh we forgot the corn flour Oh, we forgot corn flour. It's okay. You just put it put in. It in. Shall we sieve it again? No problem. It? Okay. It's all right. Super. It's very fine already as it is. Okay. Now we add sugar. Two tablespoon of sugar. So we're going to put in the sugar inside. Okay. Yes. And then uh, two eggs, yeah? Yes. Two eggs. Medium-sized eggs. Okay. One. Two. Mm. And... Uh, 
80 milliliters of, co uh, of cold. milk. Cold milk. milk. Yeah. Normal fresh milk, that's yeah. fine. And 300 ml of cold water. Yeah. Turn it into a thin batter. And we have to add 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil. That's it, right? Yep, yep. And vanilla essence. Oh, yes, yep. yes, definitely. So, okay. That's a teaspoon okay. of that to give it a nice flavor. Yep. And whip it till it's nicely mixed. Mm -hmm. And once this is whipped and nicely mixed, we will strain it so that we don't have any lumps and bumps in the pancake. So it looks really nice and smooth. Yeah. Yeah, so do we keep this uh, like you know you just let it rest for a you while? You can, you can. Uh, you, yeah. What is advice is maybe ten to twenty minutes. Yeah, rest. just yeah, just yes. let let it rest. Let the gluten everything inside. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's what you do with flour. Yes. With yeah. flour, and uh, yeah, and if you don't have the time, it's okay. Like, like me. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Now we want to sieve it. So let me put okay. up the heat a little bit. I'll see if this, yeah. Thank you. Nice better. So okay, so we're ready to go. So here we are. I would put this at medium heat. Uh, at least you know, uh, usually the first or second one will, it will be a tryout, but usually it works out anyway. So there you go. You just use paper with oil and rub it uh, yeah. against. Can I have so uh, can this plate here? Yeah, okay. Yes. Can I put so. everything of this away so we have space to put other things? Sure. So, just one scoop. And turn it around. You gotta make it like into a very thin pancake. Very thin, very yeah. thin and fine. and Make sure there's no holes. <laughs> well, not a problem. If there's holes, just fill it up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So where did you get the durian? Oh, also from the Asian supermarket. And this is Malaysian durian. Asia, and I bought it there. Okay. And this is really wonderful. It's sweet. Uh -huh. And it's it's really, the smell is not so strong as a lot of people say, hey, this smell. But it's wonderful. This is what people say, smell like hell. But tastes like heaven. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. I, like, to be very honest, you know, I'm not a durian person. But maybe I can convert you I, today. Uh, maybe so. today I'll be converted. <laughs> Especially with the cream yeah, when we make yeah, the whipped yeah, cream. Yeah. And the durian is just a hint of durian. Yeah. And okay, if you're not so into durians, you can also use the fresh uh, uh, other other fruits like pineapple or mango. Yeah, mango you know, would mash be up the nice. Fruit. Yes, ripe yeah. mango, mash yeah. it up a bit. Mm -hmm. So you'll see as we get along later when I put the cream, you can put any kind of fruits. Yeah. If you want to put mango, durian, uh, 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 rambutan even, you know, just chop it up. Oh yeah, yes. I think it'd be really lovely. Oh yes, it's, it's good to uh, try it, everything. It looks like it's ready now. Almost, almost. It's beautiful, isn't it? And the whole thing in the middle is just like bubbling up. So let it brown a little bit. Yeah. So it's just a few minutes. And it's very fine, very thin, and you mm -hmm. can see, you know, we've done one earlier. It really is. Uh, it's very stretchy, stretchy like and say. thin. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's easy to fold. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And we're gonna fold them like, um, like uh, pillows. Okay. <laughs> so this is a pillow pancake durian. Yes. Mm. So there you go. Oh, beautiful. Slide it out. Yep. Okay. okay, so we're ready now with the pancakes mm -hmm. or the crepes. So here we go. This is whipped cream, which uh, we have already whipped yeah. stiff picks, yeah? And we put little uh, sugar, icing sugar and vanilla. So here it is, here it comes. So you just put a uh -huh. there, just a little bit, if you like more cream. Uh -huh. And then some durian. 
Why don't you mix the durian and that? You can, but you okay. know, it's nice to bite it through cream and then you get the... It's like you're waiting for it, you know, the durian. Where is the onion? <laughs> oh, I tell you, this is... Oh my God. This Ooh. is really... You can mix it if you want, but then yeah. where's the surprise, you know? Yeah, so, so, all you have to do it, do it like that. Hold it over. There we go. Now you get your pillow. There you get your pillow. There you go. Now we're going to put it here. Okay. That's one. Let me just do this nicely. So we do the next one. See how easy this is. Mm -hmm. And some durian. And some durian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's oh, a generous helping a, of durian. This will be mine, okay? <laughs> um, that, I did a oh, it's okay. A little hole there. It's fine. Yeah, maybe um, we make one more. One more. Yeah. You see how stretchy the pancake is? It's, you know, it's, it's really, really good with the tapioca flour, mm -hmm. the corn flour, and a little custard. So, so there you go, and oh, this is nicely um, brown. Like brown outside. Yeah. yeah, but when you buy it in Kuala Lumpur, it's white like that. Oh. Actually, yeah, it's quite pale, but you know. Okay. There you go. Maybe you do one more. One more, sure. Yeah. Since I'm now... Two for me, two for you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can try. <laughs> okay, one more. Yeah, one more. And durian. Oh, I can't wait to try this myself. <laughs> <laughs> and the pillow. Oh, it's beautiful. There you go. Okay. All right. So, so there we go. There you go. Yep. Let me just grab some flowers here. Yes. Let's decorate. Oh, yes. This is Majoram. Oh, Majoram. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. There it is. So today we have a guest. Uh, this is Frank. Yeah. And he Hi. is a German, of course. I am a German, yeah. Yeah, and he's going to try the sweet and sour for Ellen, so meat sa sa salts katupel. The sweet and sour. Yeah. It looks very delicious, Frank. Yeah, <laughs> why don't you give it a try? So, give it a shot. Oh, okay. So, there you go. I actually want to try. Yes, yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and do you like uh, Asian food, Frank? Very much. I'm, I'm really a fan of Asian food. Yeah, fantastic. So you can tell the goodness of this one compared to what you have had before. This, this now is trout, isn't it? Right? Yeah, it, it is, is trout. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's a very typical German fish, but I never had it with this Asian preparation before. So I'm really... So... Are you excited to try? Excited to try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give it a shot. I'm, I'm also very intrigued. And this is very fresh trout. From Porelen Good Herz oh, Burger oh, yeah. in uh, Ober Uzel, which yeah. is a very famous place for trout. We went there this morning to get this fish. Oh. Okay, go be here. Okay, let me just try this. Okay, now. Do you want me to hold this thing for you? No, no. Okay, right. I can help you with some sauce. Mm. There you go. Oh. Mm, yeah, good appetit. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, good enough yeah, yeah. Fish first. Yeah. Fish first. Ah, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> Moment mm. of truth. Lekker? Very delicious and very fresh. Yeah? Wow. Mm. And the combination with this <coughs> Asian taste. It's this really is sweet and sour. Working sauce. Very yeah. Very well, yeah. Here. Oh. You can get an instant one at Go Asia. That's surprising. Oh. Yeah. So you can make it yourself in the future. That's 
easy to do, yeah? Yeah, it's yes, very yes. easy. Whoa, I will you try. You just make it into a paste and then add all this uh, yeah. vegetables and water and it's done. Well, I can imagine it also goes not only with fish but also sausages, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, if you like shrimps, you can put shrimps in as well, yeah. you know. Just some, some do it with chicken even. They do anything. Yeah, oh, yeah. sweet and sour. Yes. Yeah. It's it's very famous sweet sour everybody knows sweet and sour. Thank you for trying. So you like it? I have to take another one. Oh, <laughs> please please do. <laughs> please do enjoy. <laughs> you didn't taste what you prepared, right? No, well, we had oh, a quick you taste. Had a bit. Oh, thank you so much. I love them. <laughs> we will invite you to more of our shows next time. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, no? Oh, danke schön. Really good. Danke. Thank Sehr you, thank you. Tschüss. Vielen Dank, Frank, ja, danke. for trying out. <laughs> so we have Frank again. He's going to try the durian. Have you heard of durian? Yes, I did hear about durian. Of course, it is well known, I think, in Southeast yes, Asia. Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 yeah, and I can smell already <laughs> here. A bit of durian is on the table. But yeah. mild, very mild on the skin. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yes. So this looks, it's a pancake. Yeah. Deutsche Pfannkuchen. Uh, yeah. Pfannkuchen, wunderbar. Yeah. Durian yeah. Pfannkuchen. Okay. Durian Pfannkuchen. Yeah. So Mit let's go Sahne auch. try it out. Yeah. Give it a try. I will. Sure. There you go. It looks like a pillow. So I kiss <laughs> another. <laughs> so, bitte schön. Let, let me taste it. I am intrigued to look at the you first eating this. Durian pancake in my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a first time. Yeah. It's creamy inside, right? Yeah. Yes, it's got whipped cream. Mm -hmm. So, and some durian puree inside. So. Is he going oh. for another bite now? Yeah, yeah. It's actually mild and sweet. I know durian can be also quite strong. So yes. I think people have different feeling about it. I think this is very okay. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. So he's having another yeah, try. He's having a second bite. <laughs> this is definitely not too strong because durian having a very unique smell. And yes. Yeah. And very mild. It's a king with of the fruits. cream. With the cream, I think it kind of uh, mild it down a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it tones it a lot. Yeah. 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 Uh, she's asking. Okay, just uh, let me quickly bring someone else on and then we'll hop back onto that other footage. Now, uh, this next person I'm going to introduce and we'll just quickly pull up my banner again. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, the next person I'm going to introduce is a household name in Malaysia and also among culinary circles in Europe. Uh, now, his name is Chef Dato Ismail Ahmad and he is the proud owner and head chef at restaurant Rabum in Kuala Lumpur. And Chef Ismail, he entertains, he educates, and he excites people around the world with his recreations of traditional Malaysian cuisine. And not only has Chef Ismail appeared on various cooking shows in the past, but he continues to blow patrons away with his creative flair and entertaining personality. He's down to earth, friendly, deeply passionate about creating good food and even greater dining experiences. And I am so incredibly excited and privileged to have Chef Ismail as the official ambassador of My Flavors Europe. So let's bring him on. Hang on a sec. Chef, how are you? Hello, how are you? <laughs> wow, for the first season, for the first series, that was a great job done by Lisa and I would call them Chef Lisa and Chef Rosita now. I agree, I agree, totally. Yes, <laughs> they, they promote the fruits of Malaysian very, very well. They did an amazing well, job. Let me uh, uh, congratulations to our uh, chef today and I hope the coming up chef. Hi Lisa and uh, Rosie. Hi Chef, thank you. You did it so well. I was so impressed over the moon, back back again to the sky and come back to the moon. <laughs> Jackie, thank you so much. You did a good job with Paul. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, Chef Ismail. Well, we'll see more of you over the next few days. So, guys, like I said, Chef Ismail, the proud owner of Restaurant Rubble, legendary in Kuala Lumpur. So make sure you check it out next time you're in that part of the world. But thanks again very much, Chef. Uh, we're very, very privileged to have you as our official ambassador. We'll see you again. Bye. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Okay, guys, uh, we had some questions during the session, but before we do that, right, uh, we have another piece of footage, courtesy of Rosita's friend, Laura, who tried durian for the first time ever. We had some people comment earlier that they've never tried durian. Someone actually thought all along that it's actually a savory dish. So um, let's try and see if I can locate that footage. What did I do to it, Paul? Just give me two seconds. I'll just add it back in quickly. Uh, let me just remove you ladies here and let's just add that video file from Laura. Okay, let's have a look. Hey Laura, um, have you tried durians before? Habe ich leider noch nicht, um, aber ich bin sehr neugierig, es heute auszuprobieren. Was du in Malaysia? Was genau, in Malaysia habe ich es schon gesehen, um, vor allem in Kuala Lumpur um, gab es so um, Stände, große Stände auf dem Parkplatz oder so am Rand, wo Leute dann draußen einfach das frisch gegessen haben. Ja, ja. aber ich habe es noch nicht probiert. Ah, okay. Uh, today is your chance to try genau. this out. Um, hold on one second. So, today I have the Musang King or the, how do you say it auf Deutsch? Uh, Fox King. Der König des Foxes. Ja. So, here is the durian. Dankeschön. Wow. Do you notice the smell? Man sieht, also man riecht es auch schon. Das sehen Sie jetzt leider vor der Kamera natürlich nicht. Aber es hat einen Geruch, ich würde sagen, ein bisschen fruchtig, ein bisschen wie Jackfruit. Das habe ich zum Beispiel schon mal probiert. Aber auch ein bisschen fleischartig. Eigentlich kann man es gar nicht beschreiben. Es ist ein sehr spezieller Geruch. Ja. Okay, probier mal. Okay. Ähm, Mit Finger ist okay. Genau. Es ist, also, es ist schon mal sehr weich. Ähm, innen drin ist ein Kern. Und ich beiße jetzt erstmal so rein. Mhm. Ist gut. Sehr lecker. Aber auch ungewöhnlich. Ich glaube, das ist etwas, das kann man nicht mit irgendwas anderem zu essen eigentlich vergleichen. Und ich glaube, deswegen ist es auch so ein ähm, so eine berühmte Frucht. Ja, ne? yeah, it's very famous fruit. You like it? Do you, is it sweet? Is it? Es ist süß. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Aber gleichzeitig hat es eben auch diese fleischige Konsistenz. Uh -huh. Das heißt ähm, creamy and fleshy. Genau cremig. Es ist ein bisschen, als ob man süß und Sahne und Fleisch gleichzeitig hat. Oh. Vor allem die Creme, sehr cremig. You like it? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Sehr lecker, wirklich sehr lecker. This is the Musang King and special from Malaysia. Gibt es verschiedene Sorten? Ja, ja, es gibt viele verschiedene, many many varieties of durian. This is supposed to be one of the best, so, but you know, here in Germany, Whenever you get durian, you get durian. <laughs> it's just as good. So would you buy some? Do you know where to buy durians here? Ich habe keine Ahnung. Wo kann man das kaufen? Okay, you can buy it at Asian supermarkets. Uh, they come frozen and you can buy them with the pulp only or with the seed sometimes. So you can go to Asia Land or you can go to Yuan Fa here in Frankfurt. Und dann kann ich es auftauen und, und so essen, wie ich es jetzt gerade esse? Pur. Yeah. Uh, she's asking if she can just defrost it and eat it like that as a fruit. Yeah, and you can also make a dessert out of it, um, like durian crepes, or you can make uh, durian mm. ice cream, or you can even put it in chendol. I don't know if you know chendol, but it's an icy yeah. drink with all kinds of uh, different uh, red beans and corn and uh, coconut milk. Wow! You're enjoying this. <laughs> Very much so, yes. Wow, thank you for trying. Sehr so, lecker. Yeah, enjoy it and don't eat all of it now in one go. <laughs> Und ich kann nur empfehlen, es lohnt sich es zu probieren. Fabulous. Dankeschön.
Danke, Laura. Gerne. Okay, great. So she loves it. Just let's bring the ladies back on and we'll get Rosita and Lisa to explain a little bit more about the missing gaps that uh, we might have in terms of the interaction there. So yeah, guys, it seems like she liked it. She's never tried it, even though she's been to Malaysia, right? Yeah. She's been to Malaysia, yeah. But, yeah, um, yeah. She has, she has uh, seen it before. She's seen it, she's oh, never it tried it. Yeah. yeah. She thought it was, she was very curious about it. So for the first time, she's seen the flesh of the durian and uh, yeah. didn't turn her off at all. She says that the taste is creamy. It's very delicious it's and sweet, yeah. uh, sweetish. Yeah, yeah. And the, the smell is a little bit off, but uh, 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 it's it, it's not as strong. Yes. The taste is not as strong as the smell. Correct. And she will definitely try it again. Yes. One turn comfort. We'll have to encourage more people to try it. I think yeah. the smell like scares people away, right? Yeah, yeah. But ever since this durian thing has been going on like this, uh, we are promoting mafi with like durian. Yeah, I have been asking a few of like my German friends. Yeah, and uh, surprise, surprise, they are really, they, especially the younger ones, they are very intrigued, very interested to yeah. try. So I believe there is uh, going to be more durian lovers here in Germany. <laughs> Yeah, someone commented earlier that they uh, think that durian, they've heard about durian ice cream, and that's another way to incorporate durian flavors into yes. Western, you know, things that Westerners are familiar with as well, right? So the yeah. crate's a great idea. Yeah. So guys, don't forget, if you haven't already signed up, right, make sure you do that, malaysianchefs.com slash mafi, and we will send you the, these recipes uh, pretty soon, okay? Um, we have some questions uh, during your broadcast. I don't know if you guys saw some of them on screen. Uh, someone was asking about the trout, whether it's rainbow trout. I don't know, because fish names are a little bit tricky because I know different, you know, yeah. the same fish is called the different things in different parts of the world. But can you explain a little bit about what the German trout is like, like the Pirelli? That is not the rainbow trout. Uh, yeah. it's, not it's not specifically the rainbow trout. Yeah, not, not from this Pirelli. Yeah, this, I don't know what exactly it's called, but the rainbow trout is probably a different species of trout. There's so many different types, yeah. but this yeah. is the common, the common one. You can find them frozen or fresh. Yes, yeah. It's definitely so, a rainbow trout, not that I know of. Yeah. Cool. We have a lot of people say hello, including Hamima Karim, who is watching. Is one of our um, yeah long-time followers. So that's very kind of her to say hello. And we had uh, a, a lot of people in Australia actually say hello, and obviously a lot of people in the in Europe. And a lot of people saying how delicious it looks. Now, someone was asking whether the batter that you make for the crepe needed to be like dressed. dressed. Yeah. Yes, the, of course, any kind of batter that you make, it's always best to rest it for at least half an hour for, yes. the, you know, for the flour to settle down. Yeah. Uh, of course, when we did it, we, we did rest the flour. We kind of exchanged the bowls. So. Correct. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We, it has to be rested, definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's recommended. If you can't, it's it's not a big disaster, but better to yeah. rest the better. Yeah, yeah. Okay. cool. But yeah, we want to uh, thank you to everybody who is uh, uh, who watch who is watching right now. Thank you so much. Right? Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, we cannot yeah. we cannot call out everybody's name. Yes, yeah? so, because like it goes out quite yeah. quite fast. But terima kasih banyak banyak. You know. Danke, danke, yes. Yeah, thank you, everyone. And let's bring back Chef Ismail for one last word. Chef. Uh... Well, uh, thank you so much. Uh, the our our uh, power power teamwork for this first pro program today. With all the meetings we go through with different time of climates and and hours that we still make it and. For you, Lisa and Rosie, you really opened the door very, very wide to oh, introduce to introduce our beautiful grown fruit from Malaysia to the world. So to me, well, you appoint me as the ambassadors, but actually all of you are the life ambassadors in Europe that please, every time, everywhere you go, carry the words of Malaysian fruit. Would you please? Yeah. 
Yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so all much. the sponsors. And hopefully, Mafi, please take us to the second episode. All right. <laughs> thank you, Chef. All right, guys. Speaking of the second episode, um, we are going to, uh, tomorrow. So we did Germany today. Tomorrow, we are moving to the Netherlands and we have another two very, very talented chefs with us. Make sure you sign up. All right. The uh, event link, uh, you can watch this everywhere. You can watch it on our YouTube channel, on our website. You can watch it on many places on Facebook. But the easiest way, I guess, if you want to watch it on Facebook, is just type in bit.ly slash myflavors2, the number two, and it will take you to the Facebook event link where you RSVP. And then tomorrow, we will notify you when we go live. Just let me quickly type in the URL here. It's, because it's a bit.ly link, it is case sensitive, myflavors2. And more cooking, same time slot tomorrow. And we look forward to seeing you then. Thank you so much, ladies. You guys did a fantastic job. And we, we can't you. wait to see your recipes. Uh, we've got an e-magazine out for you guys, everybody. So make sure you sign up, malaysianchefs.com slash mafi. And have a lovely rest of the day, lovely evening, lovely night. Thank you so much again. And we will see you same time tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.